let's begin working on our belt rig. A lot of times with game characters, you may find that any belt or that type of asset is rigid skin to the character's hips, simply because animating a belt can get quite complex. Now what we're going to create is not going to be a dynamic system, but we'll give the animator enough to control to create a really cool belt animation as the character moves around. So let's say we get started. Let's go ahead and talk about this rig. Well, our main challenges will be the front part of the belt and the back part. And what we'll do is we'll create a, a hinge system. So we'll learn how to, to build that. We'll do the same thing for the, again, the front and back part, this back strap. But everything else is going to be pretty straightforward. So let's say we go ahead and get started. What we'll do is create joints where we would like to see deformations. Now, these side parts of the belt, they should be more rigid, but we still want a little bit of flexibility. So we'll keep that in mind. But getting started, we'll go to component mode, and what we'll start to do is create joints where we would like to see deformation and where we would also like to create our controls. So you can kind of follow my lead. We'll start on the right half, and we'll run our center joint tool. Selecting our belt mesh again. We'll go ahead and grab the center edge. Run our tool. Going to the back part, we'll go ahead and grab the opposite vertex. Create a joint. And now we'll do the exact same thing, but this time for the left half. Let's go ahead and create a joint. We know that this clip casing, of course, should be rigid, so that's actually going to be pretty easy to skin. Let's go ahead and find the edge that we'll need to create a, a joint along. So selecting our belt, we can go to wireframe mode. I'll switch this to edge mode. Here's an edge we can use. It might be difficult to select, but we just want to take our time and make sure we're grabbing the right component. Now we can go ahead and create a joint. All right, so going back to vertex mode, we'll go ahead and grab our last point and again create another joint object. Great. All right, so at this point, what I'd like to do is kind of start to think about that hinge system and, and prepare our joints so that they will function properly on the front and on the back. So to have this happen, let's go ahead and select those four joints and we'll show their local rotation handles. So what we want here is for the joint on the right to point to the joint on the left. You can swap that around, but we're just doing that in, in this order just for clarity so you can understand the workflow. So grabbing the joint on the left, we'll shift select the joint on the right and we'll apply an aim constraint. And now selecting the joint on the right, we'll go ahead and run our zero joint tool to clean it up. All right, now we can go ahead and take the joint on the left and parent it to the joint on the right and clean up the orientation of the joint on the left side. So it's going to do the same thing for the back part of the belt. Again, we grab the joint on the left, grab the joint on the right, and go ahead and apply our aim constraint. Now we can go ahead and grab that joint on the right and go ahead and clean up its rotation. Parent the joint on the left. and clean up its orientation. Okay, great. Well, at this point, say this would be a, a good time to go ahead and stop the lesson. Let's go ahead and continue our belt rig in the next lesson.